definitely check this out. Make sure you bookmark this video right here so that you are able to remember some of the common equivalencies of fractions to decimals that you don't have to sit and try to figure out if you don't have a calculator available to you. And by that, I mean, if you're not allowed to use a calculator and you don't wanna to have to do all this workout, then this is the spot where you need to make sure you save. So if you're looking at these, you can see the decimals are right here. These are some common ones. And then this is what the fraction equivalency looks like. So you can see that the fractions for all of these are your standard fractions. So when we're looking at some of these, again, these are really, really helpful so that you don't have to sit and do them uh, and out and figure them out. However, I do have a video on how to do all of those in case you do need help with that. Here are some more, and I have one more column after this one. So again, keeping an eye on this is really helpful. These are just quick ways to remember how to do fraction equivalencies so that when you have to do them fast, you don't have to think about them. And if you want more questions like these, then make sure you follow me on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at U1 Algebra. All these are gonna be located in my GED playlist, and hopefully these will help you out in whatever it is that you're working on. And if you want, don't forget to like, share, follow me for more, and let me know what you think about what I've got going on here.